Kitchens require a lot of equipment. There are pots and pans, appliances like coffee makers and toasters, and even utensils of various kinds. Small kitchens simply don't have the space for you to stash everything that you need to cook your meals. Welcome to Jensen's DIY, and here are 34 super inventive ways to organize a small kitchen. 1. Did you know that you can hang simple PVC rods in a cabinet? Place them under each shelf and anchor them well. Then, hang a few S-hooks on each, and you have a handy way to organize everything. You can hang coffee mugs from them, place bags of seasonings on each hook, use a claw clip, and more. 2. The items in your refrigerator are no doubt grouped all over the place, taking up room. When you use wire beverage racks, the kind that are the right size for cans, you'll be able to use up vertical space and each one will be easier to get when you want it. 3. The inside of a cabinet door is the perfect place to hang a series of hook screws. These are very tiny, so they won't poke through the outer part of the door. In fact, they're so small that about the only things they'll hold are measuring cups and spoons. If you label each under their hook, you'll never grab the wrong one again. 4. A dishwashing caddy isn't the same as a shower caddy. These small plastic units are designed to fit on the corner of a sink, where they remain fairly unobtrusive. They hold a sponge, some dish soap, a scrubber, and more. All of your necessities will be within reach and out of the way. 5. Basket drawers are very useful because you can stack them together to create multi-use units. Place several in a cabinet and you'll automatically double its storage capacity. On top of that, each drawer pulls out of the frame, making it easy to get to its contents. You can designate each drawer for a specific item. 6. Plastic magazine organizers, the kind designed to hold multiple issues, are the right size and shape for many kitchen implements. For example, you can hang them on the inner doors of your pantry or cabinets and place boxes of plastic baggies and aluminum foil in them. 7. There are wine glass racks that fit under your cabinets. They attach to the underside and have slots in them to hold the glasses by their bases. Since they dry upside down, spots won't appear. You just save yourself some drying time and you also have extra storage space. 8. Sure your refrigerator came with some storage mechanisms. It has crisper drawers and so on. However, many of the shelves could use some additional help. You can turn ordinary plastic storage devices, like the ones used in an office, into shelf organizers. For example, the ones designed for magazines can hold individual pudding cups. 9. Yes, it's the kitchen, but that doesn't mean you can't repurpose clean items from the bathroom. These thin bars are just the right size to be unobtrusive, which is until you hang items from them. Place a few larger utensil jars on them full of utensils, of course, and you'll have freed up some counter space. Check out the complete instruction at a beautiful mess. 10. Spice racks come in many shapes and sizes. One of the best ones is designed to hold your spices stacked up both vertically and horizontally. The spices are arranged horizontally on the rack, and each shelf pulls out into order to access them. You can fit a lot more into a small space that way. 11. Do you have an abundance of water bottles? These reusable bottles tend to take up plenty of room unless you put them on a special water bottle rack. This device holds each of them horizontally, allowing you to stash several of them in the space. It really opens up some room in your tiny pantry. 12. When you don't have enough space below, it's time to make use of areas that are usually empty, such as the ceiling. A ceiling basket the kind with multiple tiers and one single hook that holds it to the top is a great way to get and stay organized. These baskets can hold things like spices, fruit, and more. 13. Most people just use the space on their refrigerator to hold menus and pictures. They might put up a few decorative magnets as well. This is just a waste of space. Instead, why not put up magnetic shelves on your refrigerator? Depending on the strength of the magnet, they can hold any number of things. 14. There are several different types of pot racks out there. Some hold only pots and pans and stay flush against the wall. 
Others are designed to be shelves as well, so you can hang your pans below and use the shelf for things like cookbooks. Either way, these pot racks allow you to utilize your space efficiently. 15. Rather than mar the surface of your cabinets with nails, just hang an over-the-door organizer on them. This kind of device slips over the top and is held in place by a hanging bar. The organizer itself holds everything from aluminum, from aluminum foil and plastic wrap to cutting boards and other slim items. 16. A pegboard cut down to size and some lengthy pegs makes a great drawer organizer. Just place the pegboard in the bottom, arrange the pegs as needed, and then store your items. Since this isn't a permanent solution, it's great for renters or people who like to periodically reorganize their belongings. 17. One of the biggest problems with most kitchen cabinetry is a lack of shelves. Each comes with two, but there's a lot of room in between that could be better used. Thankfully, there are wire racks available in a number of shapes and sizes. Use them in those spaces in order to double your storage capacity. 18. Some of the best organizers were designed with a single purpose in mind, like these bins designed to hold the lids and bodies of reusable containers. Rather than end up with lids all over the place, taking up space in a cabinet, why not put them all in one place? They're easier to find this way as well. 19. It sounds like a pain to rehome all of your dry goods, but it's necessary in order to save space. A series of airtight containers, all with convenient labels, fits nicely on a shelf and help you keep things organized. Plus, you won't have to worry about clogging up your shelves with half-empty packages. 20. You probably don't use the walls of your kitchen to your utmost advantage. Instead, mount wire baskets of varying shapes and sizes on them. Depending on how deep they are, you can put spices, utensils, cleaning implements, and more in them. Whatever doesn't fit elsewhere can go into these bins on the wall instead. 21. The space between your countertop and the cabinets tends to be neglected. It's just open air that could be used to hold things. These wine racks fit nicely underneath the cabinets in the space that currently isn't being used. Plus, they hold those bottles at the optimum angle and making accessing them easy. 22. If you love tea, then you probably have a drawer full of different varieties. This setup can make it hard to pick the right bag out of the bunch. Instead, place them in a special tea bag organizer. It has slots for numerous types of tea, and you can even arrange them alphabetically. 23. Both standard coffee makers and special single cup machines require a lot of supplies. Rather than leave them on the counter or in a drawer, just place them in a special coffee station that fits under the machine. It works like a drawer, allowing you to keep everything that you need in one spot. 24. A Lazy Susan is a flat, spinning piece of plastic or wood that is designed to fit into a corner. Not only will it prevent things from getting caught in the back area where they can't be found, but it also makes it easier to access everything that's stashed in that area. 25. Standard drying racks take up quite a bit of space on the counter. You need that room for other things like preparing meals. Buy a drying rack that rolls up when it's not in use, and stretch it over the sink when you need it. Once those dishes are dry, put it away. 26. Standard measuring spoons tend to get cluttered in a drawer. Before you know it, you've lost several of them and have an incomplete set. That won't happen with these stackable ones. They're double-sided and magnetic, so they stay together in a drawer and take up half the space at the same time. 27. Plastic and fabric shoe organizers, the type that fits over a door, have numerous uses in the kitchen. Put one over the kitchen door and place spices in it. Hang it over the pantry door and use it for storing lightweight groceries. You can even put cleaning supplies in one. 28. The ubiquitous plastic shopping bag has so many uses. You don't want to throw them away, but you can't exactly stuff them all into a closet and hope for the best. A special shopping bag holder, there are numerous kinds to pick from, holds and dispenses a number of them. Problem solved! 29. There's nothing worse than needing to access the items that you've shoved in the back of a cabinet. 
With pull-out shelves, you won't have that problem anymore. These shelves replace the standard stationary ones and are on tracks so that you pull them out when needed. You won't have to worry about losing things back there anymore. 30. Nesting your pots and pans together is always a challenge. You need to get them in the right order or everything topples down. Plus, they take up quite a bit of cabinet space. With a standing pot rack, you can keep them organized. This rack is just large enough to hold a number of frying pans separate from each other. 31. If you lack the cabinet space to store things like coffee mugs, don't despair. Just hang up a shelf that has hooks dangling from it. Place the mugs on the hooks and you'll always know where they are. In fact, you can place all of your coffee necessities on the shelf, turning it into a handy coffee station. 32. Thankfully, storage racks come in an array of shapes and sizes. They allow you to find ways to use even the tightest empty spaces in your kitchen. With a super thin storage rack, you can stash things like spices, utensils, serving dishes, and more, depending on whether or not they fit into the unit. 33. There are many different types of specialty plastic bins out there. Some of the best are made for the refrigerator. You'll find ones that hold salad dressing bottles or even small packages of fruit. They make it easy for you to organize the contents of your refrigerator, and since they move around, you don't need to use them all at once. 34. Since knives are magnetic, why clutter up a drawer with them? Even standard knife blocks take up precious counter space in your small kitchen. What you need are magnetic knife strips. They go right on the wall, allowing your knives to hang out where you need them most. Right over, not on the counter. And that's all for now. What do you think about this episode? Please share your thoughts about this video in the comments section. For more kitchen storage organizing ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.